Hello everyone, we have a sun news flash for you right now. Luca Magnata found guilty on all five charges, including first degree murder in the killing of Chinese exchange student Jun Lin. Now our senior correspondent Brian Daly has been following the story. He was in the courtroom when the verdict came down. He joins me now live on the phone. Brian, this has been a story that the entire nation has followed. Eight days of jury deliberation, uh, which seemed to go on for, for quite a while. Now you were in the court when the verdict came down. Can you describe what the mood was, particularly any reaction Action from Luca Magnata? None whatsoever. We know he's medicated, and that certainly showed he was standing for the verdict, but his eyes were essentially uh, closed. Uh, so, no verdict whatsoever when juror number nine stood up and answered guilty to all five charges against Mr. Magnata, most notably first degree murder, which would carry an automatic uh, sentence of life with no parole for 25 years, ending this three month trial, which uh, certainly had frayed the nerves, most notably of Mr. Lin Diran, the father of Jun Lin, has been here for the entire case. He was also in court with a translator and his lawyer, uh, had no reaction uh, this time, although it's been such an emotional time for him, the ups and downs of this case, the extremely gruesome evidence which his handlers tried their best to shield him from, but were simply unable to, as he sat in a side room for most of the trial, listening to uh, his son. Um, uh, his son's ordeal uh, coming here as a student, a computer science student at Concordia University, apparently being lured into uh, Magnata's apartment uh, after uh, answering an ad on Craigslist. And then, of course, we know the rest, uh, throat slash, dismembered, parts mailed across Canada with uh, references to Prime Minister Stephen Harper and his wife, Laureen, in some of the body parts mailings, Magnata fleeing to Europe, which really was the much of the uh, crux of the Crown's case, uh, the, the, the video uh, the December video ended up not really being uh, as central a piece of evidence as we might have thought because the Crown had a double burden here. Not only did they have to prove first degree murder with DNA and uh, also the December video, but really the, the, the trial centered on Magnata's state of mind ultimately. The Crown had to prove that uh, Magnata was sane, organized, and that what he did was deliberate and planned. And so they had to talk uh, about and show to the jury all the meticulous steps that Magnata took as he fled uh, to Paris and then Berlin, uh, most notably on the 31st of May when Interpol issued its red notice, its highest alert, uh, when Magnota was one of the world's most wanted men, the uh, Crown making it clear to the jury that Mr. Magnota uh, took many steps on that day to uh, cover his tracks, deleting a, an online profile, uh, throwing a cell phone into the garbage and buying a, a bus ticket to Berlin. Uh, so the jury, four men, eight women after Eight days of deliberations have found Mr. Magnota, Luca Magnota, guilty on all counts. Well, Brian, thank you very much for that update. I know that you're in break right now, and I'm sure we'll be checking in with you a little later on to get more information on this. Okay, man. Bye. Well, there you have it. Our Brian Daly, chief correspondent, been following the case, giving us uh, an update on what's been happening, reaction from the courtroom.